the top McCain staffers who you talked to, did they regret picking Sarah Palin? Did they regret that she was on the ticket? Go ahead. <laughs> um, I think there's a lot of rationalization about it in, in retrospect. I mean, they all look back and they, and they recognize what a difficult position he was in. You'll hear um, pe people like Steve Schmidt, Rick Davis, they will say, you know, it was the most difficult environment that a Republican had run in for a very long time. I mean, you can't imagine the degree of pessimism throughout the entire McCain campaign from the very beginning. I, and, and you saw it throughout. The, the various things that the campaign did that were sort of stunt-like, whether it was some of the advertising they ran against Obama when McCain later suspended his campaign. The, these were all kind of these wild gambits because they recognized that unless they did something to, to change the frame and to change the dynamic, that he was destined to lose. He was going to be outspent. It was a democratic year and so on. So they all look back now and they think, you know, we had to do something dramatic. Given the information that we had about her at the time, it made sense. It was rational. At the same time, I think there's a profound degree of guilt on the part of the most senior people in the campaign because of the fact that, although it made sense at the time, that they regard her as dangerous and bad for the party and would have been someone who was ill-equipped to serve. And they look back and think, you know, were there questions we should have asked? You know, was there a better way to us? We should have known more than we did know at the time. So yeah, and I think a lot of them will go to their graves in some sense, realizing that they, they did something that was irresponsible.